Cheers, everybody, it's me, your British lad, and welcome back to Minecraft Survival, episode number nine. So if you know exactly where we are, then you know. If you don't know exactly where we are, then you missed something big, like really, really significant, and you should just sort back through the entire series and, and try and figure it out. Because where we are, well, it's a location inside of the world. So just a warning, today's episode might be the busiest episode of the entire series so far. I have a list, and on that list, I think there's like five things that I want to do. One of the biggest things on that list is Fortune 3. Fortune 3 by the end of the episode so we can purely profit in the next episode. Also, I have a little bit of a goal inside of this world. Sometimes I have a, a bad habit of neglecting certain wood types, like this stuff right here. Well, we're not going to do that. One of the goals inside of this world is to make at least one build using every single type of wood. Yes, yes, including you. Including you, Orangewood. You get to be included. Lads, 1.18. Wow, 1.18 is really just the update that keeps getting better and better and better. Check out this map. So bottom corner, that's where I live. Uh, look at all the way through this map. I found a waterway all the way over to this spot right here. Still can't say exactly what it is, but water. The whole way I can sit in a boat and never leave the boat. The, the whole way. This is like mind-blowing stuff. This is like over a thousand blocks. This is a really, really long ways. And you can actually do it now. <laughs> 1.18 is so good. Could you believe it? We're already almost done with like the first thing that we need to do today. All that I need is this leaf right there to just decay. Go away forever completely. So I can have those saplings. This isn't good leaf. The beginning of the video is very important. And you're making me angry. Leaf. You can just go ahead and leave now. Ha ha. Leave. Now. Cheers, there we go, add a leaf. So, four saplings, I think that's what I have right now. Yeah, four is pretty good, that should do. Our fate is set, at dawn, we set out. In my not so long journey back over to the secret location that we're now leaving, I found something. This thing, potentially, would have been amazing to find like three episodes earlier, but that's not the reality. Unfortunately, it didn't play out like that. However, right now, it's still better than never. If this thing has the things that I'm looking for, it might make our to-do list a little bit longer today, but to be honest, if this thing has the things that I'm looking for, I don't care about the list being longer at all. I, I don't care at all because I'll be fully fed and ready to do like basically anything. When I was making my way back to the start of the video, I found this empire right here. Is this the empire that we've always been looking for? No. 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 Brethren, one of you has to have it. Alright, well, we'll just go ahead and put those back. One of these has to be... My brethren, my brethren, thank you so much. Yes, a trade for you? Sure. One trade. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're amazing. You don't even understand your value. You're like perfect. It's quite literally the perfect way to begin the episode. This is like basically the best find ever. I'm gonna have to remember this place and come back and check it out when I have a little bit less to do. Now, uh, we need to get back over to the base. Now on this map, I found one river route all the way over here. But I think there's a second one too. I'm gonna test it out. I'll meet you back over at Mount Axawaddle with a report. The second way back to the base, it almost worked. The river got cut off just the smallest amount. I had to get out of the boat for like, probably like 20 blocks or something like that. It was so close. We have a lot to do today. In fact, so much to do that I don't even have time to wait for the rain to go away. We have to get moving. Potato, it's gonna grow right there. The sugar cane, that's gonna come with me. So I actually seriously thought that I had more sugarcane than I have right now. 29, and I need enough sugarcane for a full enchantment setup by the end of the episode? Yikes. <laughs> in my opinion, we have a lot of really good things going for us in this world. We have that Kara farm over there, really, really big. We have the experience farm now as of last episode. The boat and everything. Like, I love this world. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going for ourselves, not including our sugarcane farm. I really thought that I had more sugar cane by now. I feel like I kept harvesting that stuff like continuously, but nope, I guess not. That's where we need to start today, the sugar cane farm. So I was looking around before this episode at areas for a sugar cane farm. I came to the conclusion that this spot right here, kind of tucked in between that hill and that build right there, might be an okay spot for a small sugar cane farm. Emphasis on small. Look, listen, I want you to get this right, because if you don't get it right, it could be really embarrassing. This sugarcane farm that we're setting up right now, it is definitely not, no way, 0% chance at all, our forever sugarcane farm. It's a starter farm. When it comes to leather, I've crunched the numbers, and I've actually, like, pretty much memorized them. When it comes to a full level 30 enchantment setup, 46 pieces of leather. Uh, for a single book, that's 3 sugarcane, so 46 times 3, you do the math yourself there. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of sugarcane, like, way more than 29. One full harvest, and we'll be... Maybe almost there. I mean, you were supposed to do the math, so I don't know. Slowly but surely, throughout today's episode, I'll be harvesting this farm, all culminating near the end of the episode somewhere where we have a ton of paper. Eventually, this sugarcane farm will get dusty. We won't ever use it, but it'll always be here.
A simple farm, certainly, but certainly a farm. That'll be good. Like I said, I'll keep my eye on it, and I'll keep harvesting it. Now we can move on to the next step. So last episode, uh, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I don't know why I placed the cow farm all the way on top of that hill, which is actually, like, insanely far from everything that I'm doing. Like, from all the way over here, up on top of this hill, where you can actually start to see the hill. Yeah, it's, like, really far away. Like, the torch over there. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. We need to move the cows in a little bit closer, and we also need to give them a little bit more uh, spacious living space so I can get even more cows. We're going to need a lot of cows. I could start harvesting the cows right now, taking them out, but I don't think it's smart. I think the better plan is to fill this pen up with, like, a ton of cows, like, way too many cows. Then I start taking them out once I have way too many cows. There we go. That's actually a pretty big cow pen. A prime view right there of the mountain, the water. That pen right there, that boy is worth over $1 million for sure. Time to move the cows in. All right, cows, come with me. So many cows right here. Look at all of these cows. I've been breeding them. Busy, busy, busy. But you see what I mean? Like, this pen is tiny before. It's pretty crazy. It was really, really cramped. Not moral at all. And that's the old me. Cows, come with me. I have a much better house for you. There are so many cows, though. I don't know how many more times I'm going to have to breed the cows. I, I mean, I feel like I'll need, like, a lot more than this. But, like, so many cows already. This is amazing progress. So many cows. So many cows. All, all of you, come with me. Okay, so the cows are inside of the pen, or at least most of them. A couple of them are outside of it, so bad news for those cows, but this is pretty good. Off to a solid start. Please drop a cow head, please. Oh no, a child. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I did not realize you have a child. I will not hurt you. These cows do not have children, though, so... Oh, did you see that? It worked. It worked. I'm one with the cows. It actually worked. This is amazing. This is great. This is perfect. Okay, so we've got the cows over there. I'll breed them, and I have the sugar cane growing. I'll continue to harvest this thing. On to the next thing. Next up is the enchantment building. So take a look at the mountain. That spot right there, it's like oddly flat and open, and it's also like positioned perfectly. The view from up there inside of the mountain, it must be amazing. Also on this side of the mountain, like off below the boat, it's like really, really flat too. And again, same thing with the view. I'm sure the view is like absolutely amazing from right there inside of the mountain. Inside of the mountain, enchantment building being different, Ah, uh, yeah, I don't usually build my, my enchantment buildings inside of a side of a mountain. It's a really cool idea, and I think it's going to work out nice, but pulling it all off is going to require a couple different things. A proper way up the mountain, so I'm going to have to work on that. I'm thinking maybe, like, wind a path going up the hill this way somewhere, maybe cut it, like, diagonally through here. Eventually, we're going to hit this drop right here. I'm thinking maybe, maybe, like, a bridge up to there. Then I could do, like, a balcony going along the mountain connect up to that with a path and then also have a spot for a staircase going up to that spot on the mountain right there it's a lot of roads <laughs> for sure but i mean roads are roads like they're pretty simple how hard could it be for at least part of this path i'm definitely thinking build a staircase going straight up the mountain i think it'll look scenic if i can pull it off right with the fences and everything and it's going to be efficient so maybe we like walk a staircase up to like this spot right here uh then i figure out the the bridge thing which is going to be tricky because this is a diagonal so Maybe it like turns or something, or, or maybe I just do diagonal. Uh, this might actually be kind of tricky. <laughs> no matter what, no matter how I end up actually doing it, a path up and down the mountain needs to be done. It's overdue. I'm tired of jumping up and down the side of the mountain. Also, I'm going to need acacia wood. Uh, a little bit more than I have right now. I have three logs. That's not good at all. I planted the saplings. Well, once ready to go, I planted saplings over there and one over here. I'm going to have to harvest acacia wood for a little while, which is going to take time. Plus side, I don't need like stacks and stacks of this horrendous looking stuff, but I do need probably like, like a stack to be honest. Oh my gosh, sugarcane farm, look at you go, look at you go, you make me so proud already, you're so young, but you grow so quickly. This is perfect, it, we're gonna have enough paper in like no time. I think I've got it. I'll do a staircase going up the mountain right here, dig this area out and make like a small landing. Uh, then I have another staircase going down right there, so it's kind of like zigzagging. Then I have this bridge that I built in over here. It'll go this way. Then maybe like right here, I'll do a staircase going up again. Uh, I'm not too sure how far up, but I'll have a staircase going up and then over into the building that I'm going to set up. The sugarcane farm has actually been doing pretty well off of that last harvest. Look at this thing. Fully planted now. One full harvest of this thing. And I think we might have almost enough sugar cane, if not one harvest, maybe two harvests. That's not too bad. Acacia wood, acacia wood. This is where the acacia wood comes in. We're going to need acacia staircases, acacia logs, acacia trap doors. And we're going to need to pick a spot on the mountain, like an upper limit, a lower limit. 
We're gonna build something. Okay, uh, so basically no matter what, it's gonna be pretty difficult to pick a proper spot on this mountain for this build, so I think we might as well just pick a random spot and, and go with it, and, and hopefully it's good. I wanna position it right here. We're gonna have a, a thing right here, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side of the mountain, like right over there. We're gonna start with logs like this. I think the, the orange is actually gonna look really, really nice against the snow. That's why I'm going with these logs today. Uh, then we're gonna do staircases. We're gonna go one like that, one like that, and then one like that. Then we're gonna do three more logs, and the same thing on the other side. It's symmetrical, it's beautiful. Symmetry is beauty, for sure. Now this is symmetrical on two directions, on four sides. It's symmetrical in four directions, on two sides? I just confused myself. Look, uh, long story short here, we're creating a shape. To create the shape, I'm gonna have to get rid of a, a little bit of the mountain, but ideally, I preserve most of the mountain. I don't really wanna take too much of the mountain away. I also am gonna need to make sure the mountain doesn't stick out like even with this. This part is meant to stick out further than the mountain. So like in this area, I shave the mountain away, maybe even put cobblestone on the mountain, but at the same time, I'm not too sure. See, I'm a little bit afraid of terraforming the mountain. If I terraform it in one spot, then I kind of have to terraform it everywhere, I feel like. I can't just do one patch of cobblestone and then say, hey, we're good. That's that. Like, it's going to look weird. It's going to stand out. But anyways, the rest of the shape right here, boom. There we go. We do need trap doors in this thing. I'll do trap doors to make this a better shape. But there we go. That's the shape. From a distance, this looking out, oh, it's going to look so good. On the inside of this spot, we'll carve out like a room. I'll have an entrance door uh, over tucked away on that side of the mountain. But we have like a whole room in here walking around. Glorious. Glorious. Glorious is all that I can say. I think it will literally be glorious basically once we get this thing fully finished and figured out here anytime we need to enchant we go up the mountain in, into the side of the mountain then we have this room right here with this like amazing looking window really really good view good view on the other side an enchantment table in it it's a simple room it doesn't need to be the biggest thing in the world i'm thinking like a rectangle room that'll be pretty nice and we'll, we'll make it all like mountain vibe on the inside so like cobblestone preserve the mountainous i think it'll be beautiful i don't really know when the best time to do this is though so maybe right now we start taking some of these things out ah uh, uh, gosh i don't know 12 leather i mean it's not the best i guess but it's also not the worst i checked the ship and there's seven inside of there which means well actually that means we're almost halfway there we need 46 total we have 19. Back up here this room, because we're working with trickier things like trap doors and stairs, we're gonna have to layer this up. If I want glass in here, I'm gonna have to push it back one layer and then basically make the outside thing continue in. It'll create an illusion, it'll create a window, it'll create safety. We'll end up with something that looks a little bit like this, except uh, <laughs> less random blocks all around it, but I think it'll look pretty cool. Powder snow, aha, uh -huh. interesting. If I cared about it a little bit more, I would maybe pick it up with a bucket. Only thing. <laughs> I don't really care about it right now. It is kind of cool though. Cows, eat up. This is your last meal. That's the last of the wheat that I have. That's gonna be a problem. I could probably replant a section of that field, but I think it might be too far away from where I'm working. I don't know if it's gonna be loaded in. Maybe I'll just make a small farm somewhere else. I mean, this spot down here has to be loaded in, right? I mean, the potato... Oh, that wasn't done. It's gotta be loaded in though, right? Like, we're right up there. It's really close. Hey, I found three more leather though. That's amazing. That brings our total up to 15. Plus seven. You know, maybe I will pick this stuff up in a bucket. Why? <laughs> Good question. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just move it down here and keep it there for now. The water sound that this stuff makes when you pick it up with a bucket, though, is so strange. I feel like it definitely should be something else. Here we go. The grand marvelous entrance all the way up this thing. It's a tall staircase for sure, but I think it'll work out well. Then what I'll do is I'll dig this room out and eventually I should connect up. So like something like this. We'll have a room in here. It actually won't be as big as it seems. Uh, but we do a room in here. Then we have the snow, the stone all over the place. That'll help make it feel really, really natural. And then somewhere over here, uh, eventually I should hit the other side of the mountain. So like probably like right, right here. Uh, that's going to be the other side of the mountain. I want to do another window. Probably on the same exact layer as that one. I think that'll make sense. But another window over here. Small circular room or something like that. Enchanting table in the middle. Birch on the floor. Leaves in here too. I think leaves will look really nice. I wish I had moss. We should go exploring really soon. Good morning, everybody. It's me, Markiplier. So I've been busy working on this thing. Check this out. Great improvements have been made. This thing is looking so much more finished now, and it actually goes all the way up to that area over there. Now over here, I'm trying to create some kind of landing. I don't really exactly know. 
Um, <laughs> I mean, I think it kind of works. I might come back to it later and change it. I'm just trying to kind of like figure this out. It's been a long work in progress today, like working on things, just trying to, yeah, like I said, figure it out. Now, if we go back down this way, look at this pathway. This is an elegant pathway that is fully finished. It's looking top shape, if I do say so myself. It goes all the way down this way, all the way down over this way. Fence is over here. One small problem that I've always had in all of my worlds, I feel like, is uh, connecting builds, you know, to, to other builds, like pathways. How do we get around that small problem? It's quite simple. We just take care of it from, like, starting right now. Now, the cow thing. Uh, the cow situation is still a situation. I haven't really harvested very many more cows since we last talked, I think. But it's time. Very bad news for all of the cows, because I need leather. I still need, like, uh, 20... 20 something leather. 24 leather? Uh, so we're gonna have to get that done soon here. Cows, look, I'm so sorry. I wish I had looting three. If I had looting three, I could make it so much quicker, but actually... 18. I don't even need it. Cows, my friends, I'm so sorry, but your sacrifice will always be remembered deeply inside of our hearts. Every single one of ours. 26. 27. I like the number 27. We'll go with 27. That's great. We'll have to set something up in honor of the cows later. Now this area over here, it's time for me to harvest sugar cane. Oh wait, just kidding. That's for peasants. That's for peasants. Wait until I show you what I have when it comes to sugar cane. You're going to be amazed. Also, if you haven't figured out, I know yesterday's build with the XP farm is directly linked to this thing, enchanting experience, you know? Eventually, we will link up Big Carrot Ranch too. Oh, but I haven't showed you the main part of the build yet, so we walk up the staircase dramatically, and it goes like this, and then I changed my plan, the floor. Originally, I said birch, and I was going to put birch wood all over the floor inside of this thing, but then I decided, like, actually, maybe grass. We just let the grass fill in here slowly. I think it'll look really nice. Then what I do is I come in here with these leaves, like, randomly throughout this cave, and basically make it feel like a cave, except look at this window right here, very grand and big. Look at this window right here. It's a little lower, grand and big. I figured different layers was actually the better way to go, and then look at this. I went crazy with the windows. I'm still finishing this one but three windows and this one is even higher up with this whole orange circle thing going on I love it I mean I'm biased I'm supposed to love it that's why I carefully nurtured this thing I'm this thing's mother I'm, I'm meant to love this thing for sure and I do now look at this leather we have done it we have done it 49 oh yes and the sugar cane right there too yeah the sugar cane piece of cake I harvest that thing one time and I think it was ready to go but speaking of ready to go, I think it's time to enchant. Oh yeah, and I left this here. I'm going to get Fortune 3 and get the coal like that. This is all of the coal that I have to my name. A sad, sad story. There is unfortunately right now no way to speed up the grass growth at all. I don't have Silk Touch or anything like that, so there's nothing I can do about it. I think what I'm going to have to do is just be around in this area and let the grass spread. And then of course, as it spreads, the grass will be finished. It might not be something I can get done today is what I'm saying. But honestly, truly, it's okay. You will forgive me because this next thing that's going to happen... Well, this next thing right over here. Hello, Ned. How are you doing? This next thing is a big moment right here. You see this diamond pickaxe right there with the 15 diamonds? This is the first diamond pickaxe. The first diamond tool of the entire world. We're going to need this. We're going to need this special tool. It's going to mean a lot to me. We need this tool to actually be able to create the enchanting table. It's obsidian time. Let's go. Oh yes, and Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli will come with me too. We will need that as well. The path has been a lot of work. Like, to me, I don't know. It, it looks like, like a lot, but maybe all at the same time. Not like very much at the same time. But it's been a lot of work. Like, this has been... Yeah, it's been a lot of work. <laughs> potato, potato, are you ready to go? You're ready to go. You don't let me down this time at all. I'm so sorry for what happened earlier, potato. You were ready to go. There's four of you now. That's amazing. Now, uh, look at the mountain from over here. I already looked at this once. I had to, to make sure the positioning was good. But look at the mountain with the orange circles right there. There's the one, the two, and then the three over there. I mean, honestly, this angle isn't exactly the best. Probably the best one that I saw was from over there. But I think it looks really cool. So, Obsidian. Truthfully, I did this slightly incorrectly. At the beginning of the episode, we were somewhere else. I, I was trying to remember to bring my stuff. Actually, we will not put that right there. We will move it over here. I was trying to remember to bring some of my stuff uh, with me uh, to the beginning of the episode. If I made the diamond pickaxe sooner, I would have passed the ruined portal. If I passed the ruined portal with a diamond pickaxe, I wouldn't even have to do this like this and drain my lava lake even more. It's not something exactly that I want to do. However, we have to do it. This is the only way. So four pieces of lava right there. We turn the lava into obsidian just like this. I take the obsidian and I make the enchanting table with the diamond pickaxe right here. The pig is proud. 
Yes, yes. It's a proud moment for sure. Very proud. Obsidian. Obsidian. And so, just like that, four pieces of obsidian wasn't even difficult at all. Time to make a bunch of paper, and then after that, time to make a bunch of books. 49 books? I don't know. Sounds pretty much perfect to me. Now, a lot of bookcases. Wood. Wood is one thing that I... never mind. Never mind at all. Wood is fine. Wood is doing perfectly good. I will cut down more trees soon. My plans, they're all going exactly as I planned. Enchanting table, right there. Enchantment setup. So we kind of have this big open space. I want to center this thing right in here. It's really going to be the only main part of this room. So if we were to put that right there. And by the way, it's going to be up on a raised platform. Birchwood for sure. Other uh, than the bookshelves around it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's right, the enchantment table gives off light too. I love the changes that they made in 1.18 with the mob spawning. Like, every change in 1.18 is my favorite, but the mob spawning change in 1.18 is especially my favorite. I really, really like the change. So I figure what we would do here is maybe put the put the books like on the back side of this thing, so it kind of like, you know, like stays open from this side, then we can kind of see it maybe. Uh, like from far enough away, I'll be able to see this. I mean, maybe we'll be able to see it. I'm not 100% sure, but the more open we can keep this thing, probably the better. <laughs> I didn't realize how much this is going to break up this room. Uh, that's my bad. <gasps> no, 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 no. I made the worst mistake of my life. No. That was terrible, truly. It's like I don't even care about the trees. I'm so sorry about that, trees. So, maybe something like that. Maybe I will move that uh, over eventually. But, Fortune 3. No. We'll give it one chance. One chance for Fortune 3. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's, that's all wrong. Grindstone. Grindstone. I never remember. What do I need? A stone slab. Really? A stone slab. Fine, fine. I ask for one enchantment, literally one specific enchantment, that's all, I don't need anything else, I just need fortune 3, efficiency, all of those other ones, we'll, we'll worry about it later, fortune 3 for more diamonds, and they can't even do it for me, one specific enchantment, one specific enchantment, listen now, do not do that again, do not ever do that again, that was despicable, fortune 3, no, no, do, do not, not do, do that, that again. again, oh no, fortune 2, Fortune 2, we're so close. No, 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 no. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. This was never the plan. This was never the plan. Truly a coincidence, but we will take it. This was never the plan at all. But Silk Touch, my good friend Silk Touch, you're not the best pickaxe, really. But you're still... I don't know what I'm saying. There it is. Yep, there it is. There it is. That's all we need. That's all we need for the next episode. Thank you so much, and goodbye, everybody. Go have a good day. A trick. Haha, <laughs> everybody, I have fooled you. The episode is still going on. Of course, of course, how could I leave you so abruptly like that? We only just got the enchantment. Fortune 3 to all of this coal right here. Over a stack of coal, we're rich. We're rich. Truly, the iron farm is great. It's amazing for things like iron, but iron? But there's only one way I can put it. The iron farm is only good for so much. As much as I love the iron farm, some things it just doesn't do right. Like coal? No, 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 not coal. It could never give me so much coal. Look at this right here. Imagine this, but with copper? Copper is gonna be insane. Without Fortune 3, we can get five copper. With Fortune 3, I don't even know how much copper we can get, but we can get a lot of copper. This is amazing. This is perfect. And perhaps even more perfectly, look at this. Silk touch right here to this grass block. The grass block is coming with me. We can move this grass block to the far opposite end. And then the grass will actually be able to spread through here. This is so great. The exact outcome that I asked for today, the exact one that we set out for, we've done it. As much as we would love to end it right there, though, we can't. We need to check a couple other things. Sharpness 3. I don't know about sharpness 3. A second diamond pickaxe because that went so well. Efficiency 4. Oh, efficiency 4. That's the target. We combine that right there. Efficiency 5. That's almost the perfect pickaxe. All we would need is mending. Hold on. Look, I mean, it's quite simple, really. All that I want is one spider head. Like, one single spider head. It could be the smallest spider head in the world, but one spider head. Please? Please? How does this pack even work? It's not fair. 
At least we're level 30, which means we can finally finish up the enchanting. So this path, I, I think it's making pretty good progress. I'd like to come back later on and add like stone buttons near it. Uh, definitely more coarse dirt, and then I think the path will look a little bit better. Once we have like proper buildings near it, like if I have a building right there, the path you would look at it and be like, oh my gosh, that's an amazing looking path. Right now, it's literally just a road. Maybe I'll put hay bales or something on this spot. That crafting table is going to stay right there. But crafting table, there is one more gigantic part of the enchanting setup that we need. We need doors on this building build right here of course i don't want things to walk inside of it acacia doors just like that as much as i hate on acacia wood i actually am basically in love with the doors I, I really like the texture of the door i think it's really really cool pretty nice and the cave look at this place it's more cavey than ever before i feel like it looks really really cozy course dirt in here ideally inside of this cave we have azalea plant we need to find a lush cave Maybe we'll make that our goal for the next episode to find a lush cave or something like that. But enchanting. A bow. Infinity. No, they would do that to me. No, they would do that to me. Efficiency 4 or infinity or sharpness 3. Okay, that's out of the question. We don't need that. Oh, no. Infinity. Oh, do I take infinity? Is it worth it or do I take efficiency 4? Oh, no. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Infinity power 5. Power 3 punch 1. All right. Then what would I get? Efficiency 4? It was all worth it. The great deal. It paid off as always. The cozy cave enchanting setup is now set up. Once we have a little bit more things for terraforming, we'll come back in and make this cave look even better. The azalea plants, glow berries, uh, just bone meal in general. Yes, it will be a dream one day. But today, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching the episode and supporting the series. I really, really appreciate it. What do you think about the world so far and how it's coming along? Let me know down in the comments below, leave a like if you liked the episode, subscribe for more episodes just like this one right here, on the end card is another video, check it out, thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, goodbye everyone.